Hello, I'm Melissa Burke, a registered neurodiagnostic technologist at Jordan Neuroscience. This is an instructional video demonstrating how to set up an ambulatory EEG using the BrainNet template and the EZ EEG recording system by Cadwell. An important part of a successful ambulatory EEG is the patient preparation. Inside the patient instruction manual provided by Cadwell, there's some important tips to give to your patient prior to coming to the procedure. For example, before they come in, they should wash their hair the night before the test. It must be dry and free of oils, gels, conditioners, and sprays on the day of the test. They should also wear loose-fitting clothing. A button-down style t-shirt with a t-shirt or a tank top underneath works very well for this procedure. It's best to have all the supplies set up and ready before the patient enters the room. A review of the supplies you're going to need today for your EEG, ambulatory EEG recording, are the Cadwell Easy EEG Ambulatory Recorder, two C batteries, and the battery cover, the Easy Net cable, which connects to the jack box. You'll note that it's color coded, and you'll want to use the color coded electrodes, which also match the color coded brain net. This is a 1020 brain net. New Prep Skin Prepping Gel, 1020 Conductive EEG Paste, Cover Roll Stretch, which is a great product that we like to use to attach the electrodes to the brain net itself. You'll need to cut some strips beforehand in, or in order to attach them to the brain net. You also need some cotton balls, some cohesive wrap, some elastomol head wrap, usually two will do the job. Some collodion remover, which is helpful when removing the electrodes. Some Q-tips, a tape measure, some tape, and some scissors. Next we will set up the equipment. I've already plugged the electrodes into the right side of the jack box. Notice that they're color coded and they match the color coded markings on the jack box. I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and plug the electrodes in on the left side of the jack box now. Once you have your electrodes all plugged in, you'll need to plug the recorder download cable which is coming from your EEG computer into your ambulatory recorder. Also, you can insert your C batteries. And once you've inserted the C batteries, it's very important to make sure the correct lights are flashing. You'll notice the green light flashing on the bottom. It's flashing at a rate of maybe two to three per second. That's the R light. And then above that, you'll see the I light should be flashing at about one per second. This lets you know that your recorder is ready to be set up and the patient history is ready to be typed in. You can also cover the batteries with your battery cover, which will protect them while the patient wears. Next, you will set up the patient information screen and the patient history. Go to your EEG computer and select new patient. Type the last and first name in, the birth date, and the ID number. Once you have that finished, click on Start Ambulatory EEG. Now we're going to type in the patient's medications, and the patient history. Once you have that finished, click OK and your CAD Cadwell ambulatory software pops up on the screen. This is a good time to run your calibration signal. So you click on Cal and it will automatically start running. Let it run for a page or two.
then you can click the red button, which is pausing the recording. And now click on Impedance, which will bring the Impedance screen up. And now it's time to bring your patient back to apply the electrodes.